What up, Pittsburgh Steelers fans? Welcome to this episode of the Steelers Global Perspective. I'm Matty P with Shannon White, my co-host as always. Global Perspective, we're about giving you the macro perspective on all things Pittsburgh Steelers. Mike Tomlin likes to use global in that sort of way. And we happen to be global when you've got Sydney, Australia, and you've also got West Virginia. Uh, but my co-host, Shannon White, how are you doing on this fine Friday evening for you as we record this one? Yeah, doing wonderful. It's a beautiful day and uh, had a, a excellent week, a productive week, and ready to talk about some Steelers. That's it. That's it. Well, you came to me and you said, Matty, I want to talk about offense and defense, and I want to talk about hidden value. I did a show the other day around um, are the Steelers getting value from the most expensive defense in the NFL, which happens to be their defense. <laughs> um, yep. And there are some interesting things per player, and I was pretty excited by that. There were a lot of numbers. Um, I really enjoyed um, all the different comments and the views that we've had on that and, and all that sort of stuff because it, get, it does get in the weeds, but it's pretty interesting. Um, and even if people numbers aren't their thing, I invite you to go check it out because you know you might take away one one cool stat that you can drop in in you know in a pub mm-hmm. or when you you know talking to the neighbor over the fence and you know you might sound smart. Um, I didn't necessarily come up with all those stats. I pulled them, but I wanted to construct them together. So anyway. Hopefully it makes everyone feel a little bit smarter about the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, But as you said, we want to talk about hidden value on today's show. So what do you want to kick off? Do you want to kick off with the offense or do we want to kick off with the defense? I said we'll just kick off with the offense. You like that? All right, we'll go on the front foot, right? (laughs) Yep. All right, well, let's let's, let's crack into it. Let's talk, talk about some players on the offense. Um, that provide real hidden value for the Steelers. And this is interesting because the Steelers also have one of the cheapest offenses to offset. So how many times I can say the word off (laughs) words for starting with off, but they have one of the most uh, cheapest offenses in the league. So when we're talking about value, we're probably talking about real value um, given cost of production. Um, But where would you like to start on the offense? Well, when we, what brought this idea up is there's, Everybody knows the quarterback's situation and how the Steelers have got like the cheapest quarterback room in the NFL right now. Hmm. They really, uh, I think uh, that is it Kyle Allen? Yep. Is maybe the highest paid or, I mean, it's funny that, uh, you know, Russell Wilson, they got him on the cheap because of the situation, you know, coming from the Broncos. And then Justin Fields is still on his rookie deal. Right. So, so Fields is the most expensive at three point three million. Yeah. Okay, three point three. But it's it's we know that value, but that's going to well, it'll take us a while to see it. Mm-hmm. If one of these guys are hopefully they both do really well, and the Steelers have strengthened that position. But I said, well, that's been talked to death. We've <laughs> all discussed it and. And, and if we're actually at the point right now, it's it's just wait and see. There's nothing we can all prophesy and, and predict, but until we see it, we don't know. Nobody knows. But we let's start with the running backs. Yep. Uh, we've got Jalen Warren on a undrafted free agent rookie deal. Najee Harris, they're gonna they declined his fifth year option. So where we go from there, we'll see. But you brought up in the recent podcast, uh, Daquan Edwards. Mm. And there's another guy like Jalen Warren, as we said, 2.0, that if he pans out, and let's say he really shows something this year, provides them a spark, has that explosive, his greatest asset to me, is he's kind of a water bug type in that he's a jump cut runner. Mm. He he waits for that hole and then he makes one jump cut and he goes. The he Steelers, has a bit of the Jalen Warren though. So the Steelers really don't have that. Oh, you back? It just what was you saying? Oh, it just it just paused. That's right. I'll, I'll call it a bit. Yeah. Um, um, I was gonna say he also though on some stuff that I saw has a bit of that Jalen Warren run outside to the edge as well and just pick a lane. It's just that he like sort of waits for the line. He waits for the hole to develop a little bit. 
Well, to me, he's he's a uh, lighter on his feet than Warren. Like he will when he when he gets out there, he'll see the lane opening up behind him, and he will jump cut back, and then you know accelerate through the hole. Yeah, top speed was kind of similar to Warren uh, coming out of college, but I do believe that he has more acceleration than people realize. Yeah, it seems like he he's a little lighter on his feet, and can give them that shifty scat back type. Yeah, because Harris and Warren are both more power backs in my opinion, whereas Edwards will lower his head, and and you know try to explode in there. But based on what I've seen in Georgia, and you looked at his average in college, you know he's picking up a healthy five seven clip. Uh, you know, one year I know uh, he, you know, that if you're averaging over five yards a carry, you've got some explosiveness. Yeah. Yeah. I think you it was 5.3 he averaged overall in college. Yeah. They had a great offensive line, but they also played in the toughest division in college football. Yeah. And so if he can pan out, that will set up the Steelers in a position of power to negotiate with Harris and Warren. That's it, and that's it, and it will lower that price. Um, I, I think Warren could stay. I think Warren will be cheaper than Harris, and I think that's that's yes. a big difference. Um, you talk about spending right now, and the Steelers are thirteenth in the league um, on offense overall, but at like at running back, um, they are the sorry, yeah, they're the thirteenth cheapest running back room at like eight million. But there's like I think six, seven teams when I look at it off the top of my head in the eight millions. And there's another like six teams in the seven millions, and the Rams are the cheapest with five million, but we will know why that is. Um, so yeah, incredibly cheap room, incredible value for a team that are going to run the ball first. Because where does the Steelers' offense rank as a whole? Uh, the Steelers' offense is second cheapest in the league at eighty million. I said it has to be near the bottom. It has to be. Yeah, Packers is Maybe. cheaper at seventy eight, but they haven't done Jordan Love's new deal, and like they are oh, very yeah. rookie yeah. heavy. Like they're very really rookie heavy, right? So I think um, last year, if I remember, they're the youngest team in football. Yes. Yep. So naturally, yeah, they all they well, and they're probably the youngest team in football again because while they added Russell Wilson, they got <clears throat> well, they got younger at a bunch of different positions. So, yes. No, I said the Packers. You said the Packers. Oh, right? the Packers. Yeah, the Packers. Oh, the Steelers are one of the younger teams as well. Yeah, but the Packers yeah. are the youngest team. Oh, no, oh, by, by far. Yeah, by, by plenty. By plenty. Yeah. So, yeah, that's yeah. going to that's gonna give you – I mean, if they if Jordan Love is as good as he looked like last year – now, I know we're talking about the Steelers, but I'm just saying, if he could do what he did last year and with that – you know, with their uh, – all that youth and the money they have available, uh, they can quickly become a factor in the NFC. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think um, <clears throat> I've always been really high on Jordan Love. When he sat that first year, I, I've said this. There's a podcast out there somewhere I've said it. I mean, Ben was coming back from injury, and we knew there was probably only one or two years. I said, can we just go let Jordan go get Jordan Love and let him sit behind Ben? I said it. I, like, I know it's out there. I could probably really find it if I wanted to. But I literally said that. Like, I've always been a fan of Jordan Love. Um, I argue that I think he'll have a much better career than Justin Fields. But people will say, Justin Fields is a better thrower and Justin Fields is a better athlete and Justin Fields can do all these things. And I'm like, yep, but Jordan Love's starting for a no, more uh, respected teams. Just, I mean, I like Fields and I have high hopes. But no, he's not better than Jordan Love. <laughs> no, uh, Jordan Love is, uh, he progresses better already. Yeah, he makes field. better he's, reads. He makes better decisions. Yeah, he's taller, and and he's actually more accurate. The same. He's a more the accurate passer. And I and I think the I think the arm power. I mean, accuracy is the key part. of What you said there, but I think the power yeah. is not that much different. If not, I, I think. Oh, no, Jordan, he's got a great arm. Yeah. Like, yeah. No. <laughs> anyway, we are here to talk about the Steelers. <laughs> Where did you want to move to? I agree with you on the running back side. I think the, the interesting part is like how Cordell Patterson fits in the mix as well. But, um, you know, if you suggest. Well, I think he's kind of, to me, you could call him, let's say Edwards pays out, which you hope he does, for the cost and the the he's the change of pace. But also, that way you could say uh, Patterson 
is running back four. He's wide receiver five, and he's kick returner number one. You know, yeah, because that's what he's there for. Agree. But the thing is, my challenge, Shannon, is that if I say he's a running back, someone tells me he's a wide receiver. If I say he's a wide receiver, someone tells me he's a running back. So I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm not putting him in a designated position anymore because God forbid I, I say the wrong thing. Um, but it's well, good to, to have that versatility. It's good for definitely very good for the Steelers. I'm Matty P with Shannon White, as always. Go. Go.